having established my own business and having a great team beside me is really about the opportunity to showcase your vision without the bureaucratic challenges that you faced within a large corporation. So it's about actual attainment of that vision in a successful way. The South African financial services sector is really a sector that consists of two extremes. The one extreme is a highly sophisticated, highly regulated sector that meets the needs of a section of the South African population. On the other end, we've got a sector that um, has got sub-minimum products, sub-minimum services and doesn't really fully embrace the marginalised in South Africa. As 274 Investment Managers, we positioned and established to cater for the needs of everyone and to reach a medium where we can promote financial inclusion and we can promote uh, the provision of products and services, cheaper products and services to cater for all South Africans. Financial sector concentration and the lack of participation by black people and women within the, within the sector um, has been a problem since the attainment of our democracy in 1994. Um, we currently face with low economic growth um, and the challenges that we face as a result thereof. Uh, what people don't understand is that transformation makes good business sense. And if we deal with the challenges of transformation and greater participation of women within the sector, we can achieve uh, greater uh, competition, we can improve our products and services, uh, and ultimately achieve the necessary uh, cycle of economic growth that we need within South Africa. Whilst we need to understand the lopsided topography of the financial services sector in South Africa, we also need to strengthen the dialogue and focus on industrialization of the sector. How do we create progressive financial institutions that can deal with the challenges of the future and deal with the current imbalances and low growth environment that we experience in South Africa today? The private sector cannot shy away from its role and its influence in South Africa and in society as a whole. We need to take accountability and responsibility and operate in an ethical manner and promote the role of corporate responsibility across the board. Winning this award is really recognition for making that small dent or contribution towards changing the narrative or having the paradigm shift that we need to focus on becoming globally competitive. But because you want to become globally competitive, you cannot compromise on being competent. Um, and winning this award is recognition for saying we have made that contribution towards competency as a financial institution in South Africa.